Hi, welcome to the Savage Nation. We'll do an open mic for a moment, one 800 449 We can continue yesterday's discussion, but I want to talk about something new today, and it's going to require some of your imagination. Now, imagine if George Bush, in his second term, had appointed uh, people calling for a Nazi revolution in America. Imagine if George Bush had appointed czars without any congressional oversight or congressional appro- approval, who espoused a Nazi state and wanted a Nazi revolution, a national socialist revolution in the United States of America. You would say, unthinkable, it can't happen here. Well, now let's take the optic chiasma of your brain and reverse it. We have a president who could never have passed a security clearance test to become an FBI agent or even a Secret Service agent, who has surrounded himself with outright communists in the White House. The Green Jobs Advisor is a man who knows nothing about the environment, a man who knows, has no scientific training whatsoever. He is a, th- a street thug, in my opinion. His name is Van Jones. Van Jones is a 9-11 truther who says that the Bush administration prepared 9-11 as a pretext for war. This is a man who has joined hands with Cynthia McKinney and Code Peak founder Jody Evans. This is a man who called Republicans AHs. This is a man who consistently uses racially charged language. This is a man who says that white polluters and white environmentalists have steered poison into minority communities. This is a man, Van Jones, who was a declared communist during the 1990s. This is a man who was with a group that looked up to Mao Zedong as an inspiration. Mao Zedong, uh, aptly named Zedong, was responsible for the deaths of 60 million Chinese. Mao Zedong is one of his heroes. And he is in the White House. Again, you can't understand what I'm saying to you, you left-wing, you left-wing vermin you. But what if a conservative had won and surrounded himself with a neo-Nazi? What if he had put skinheads as czars into the White House? Do you think the empty skirts at ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, and Fox would be up in arms? Do you think the empty skirts, the lipstick girls at Fox would be screaming about it? Why are they not screaming about Van Jones? Why are they wasting your time about a bitten finger? When we have had a communist revolution in America with the greatest imposter in American history slipped into the White House who has surrounded himself with overt, outright, anti-American communists. And you wanted me to go light today because it's Labor Day weekend? When the hell are you people going to wake up to what's going on around you? You have overt communists in the White House. You have people there who are czars. You're living in the United States of America? Where are you living, you idiot, you? You don't deserve to have freedom. If you permit this to go on, if you let those losers called Republicans not get this man out of the White House, Van Jones, if you let those losers called Republicans not do your job, then throw those damn vermin out with the Democrats. I want an independent party in this country. I want returning war veterans to run for office. I want them to knock every phony Republican. If you think that it's only Olympia Snow, And you think that it's uh, uh, the guy from uh, Pennsylvania, Arlen Specter, if you think they're the only rhinos, 80% of the Republicans are fraudulent rhinos. And I stand by those words, throw the bums out. The Democrats are all communist socialists, you know that. Oh, they call themselves Democrat Party, they're the Socialist Party USA. The left wing wing, or the left left wing of the Democrat Party is the Communist Party. The moderates are socialists. There are no Americans in the Democrat Party. There are no people speaking the American language. When I say that, I mean name one American Democrat living today in power who talks about borders, language, and culture. Name one Democrat who supports borders, language, and culture. Name one. And if you can't, then I stick by my words. The Democrat Party is a socialist party. The far left wing of the Democrat Party is a communist party. The Republican Party, 80% is a socialist party. You have 20% hardcore Americans in the Republican Party who understand what borders, language, and culture mean. We are the last hope for this country, or it's all over. If you let a street thug like Van Jones stay in the White House without demanding that the Republicans hold a hearing into his background and get him out of there, immediately...
then you don't deserve freedom. You deserve to live with a ring in your nose. You deserve to become a slave in your own country. Shall I repeat it? Who we are talking about? A man named Van Jones, who's a so-called czar of green jobs. The man has no background in the environment whatsoever. He has no distinction whatsoever in understanding what the environment is about. He is simply a thug, in my opinion, who has been put into the White House by Obama because Obama has a bigger plan for you. And that bigger plan is a fully armed domestic military force that is bigger than the U.S. military, that is armed better than the U.S. military, and that is run by thugs like these people that he has put into the White House. And if you don't wake up before long, you're not going to be able to wake up at all. He is a declared communist during the 1990s. Van Jones once associated with a group that looked up to Mao Zedong as an inspiration. Mao Zedong killed 60 million of his own communist Chinese uh, 60 million Chinese were killed under Mao Zedong. Now I ask you, do you remember when then-Senator Barack Obama was uh, running for office and that loser, degenerate McCain, when we said Obama is dangerous, he's tied to radicals and overzealous activists, that, that undermining SOB McCain, that rhino of rhinos, that fraudulent Manchurian candidate, had the nerve to say, Oh, no, he's a nice man just like me. He's a good American. No, 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 Obama's a good American just like me. So now you have now President Obama in a very tricky phase of his young presidency trying to push socialized medicine as step number three in his plan to turn America into a communist nation. And around him are overt left-wing fanatics like Van Jones, and the media is silent, including that putz, Neil Cavuto, on Fox, who talked about a bitten finger. Play, play the media idiot of the day. Go ahead. Well, the hunting's yeah. on for the guy who bit off my next guest's finger. Authorities are trying to get their hands on Get off on my the show, you loser black. fraud, you. You, you. you Abbott and Costello faker, you. Why aren't you doing your job, Cavuto? You're a fraud. You're a fraud, all of you over there, with your leg crossing and your lipstick. Here are people who are accurately named communists. I'm not saying it for rhetorical reasons. These are accurately labeled communists. They are accurately named communists. And we on the right have an administration that is openly socialist slash communist. How do I say that? Because he surrounds himself with people, puts them in the White House, who actually label themselves socialist or communist. Do you hear me? These are people who have labeled themselves socialist or communist. Did you hear what I just said to you? And this man is inside the White House, and you're looking up to him? Can you believe this? He's named a hero of the environment by one of these left-wing magazines. What has he ever done for the environment? I will challenge this fraud to come on this show and compare his background in the environment with mine, Michael Savage. While this fraud was reading Mao Zedong, I was trekking in the rainforest of the South Seas, collecting medicinal plants, hoping to find various cures for illnesses. I have a real degree in fields related to environmental issues such as botany. This fraud went to Yale and got another law degree, just what the world needed. Another lawyer from Yale, another communist lawyer from Yale University. And now he's an environment, environmentalist. So there it is, inside the White House. He's put in there as a czar, which, of course, is un-American to begin with. And here's a man who always uses race. Here's a man who's always described himself as a revolutionary. Here is a man who is in the White House waiting for his marching orders from uh, Chairman Obama. Here is a man who says that the September 11th attacks were rigged up by the U.S. government in order to get us into Iraq. And this man is a czar. And uh, Obama says he doesn't know what he's doing in the White House. It is Obama. These are reflections of Obama. 1-800-449-8255. It is the Savage Nation. MichaelSavage.com is the website. If you want to talk about the White House Green Jobs Advisor who called Republicans AHs, if you want to talk about his communist past, if you want to talk about a worthless Republican Congress that refuses to investigate this dangerous individual and the other czars that have been appointed by Chairman 
Mao Zedong, Obama. You can call me. I'll be right back. Savage.